will be learning about what are data structures right so first of all uh, if we go about see with a very simple name data and structure that means you are structuring a data that's what it means basically it is used to store okay so i'll put it here store then i can say you know organize and basically it is arranging the data on a computer okay so you can also say that arranging the data so basically by the name if you observe data structure we are structuring the data maybe we are storing it we are organizing it we are arranging the data so that why do we do this so that it can be accessed and updated efficiently so depending upon the you know project or whatever you are trying to do over here is you have to choose the right data for your work and then what we do is we put it in a sequential manner and when you put it in a sequence in a sequential manner it is called array data structure okay so the first one when we talk about we say array ds that means you are putting the things sequentially that is one thing okay now what is the next thing which we will do is we are going to talk about the types of data okay so if i talk about the types of data structure so basically there are two categories right so the first category if i talk about it is we can say it is linear data structures and the second one is non linear data structures so these are the two broad categories in which they are divided now when we have to talk about linear so what do you mean by linear wherein the elements are arranged in a sequence one after the other so we can say that elements arranged in a sequence okay now when you say they are arranged in a sequence so obviously i told you the first one is the array data structures right so here what is happening is elements in the memory are arranged in a continuous memory so all the elements of an array are of same type all right so if if i have to call, uh, talk about an array uh it is like this and maybe you can put the values 2 3 5 4 whatever you want to put and see 0 1 2 and 3 so this is a simple array okay now the second one if i talk about is stack okay stack data structure so stack data structures basically here the elements are stored in a lifo principle i mean the lifo method and what is lifo it is last in first out okay so now when you talk about last in first out is suppose you are putting like this see the first element will be a then b and then c so the person who is gone the last will come out fast because it is blocked from here you cannot move here so what we will do is like it is a b and c so c went last now it will come out also the first so that's why we have written the person who's gone last so last in first out that's what we are trying to explain over here okay now in the um, i mean linear data structure only let's talk about the third one okay so if i talk about the third one is that is queue data structure and what will be the principle on which queue will work it will be fifo okay so what is fifo that is first in and first out okay now how do you call i mean how do you talk about this these are the examples when you are you know standing uh in a queue okay so that's an example of a queue or maybe suppose there are three things we can say 1 2 3 
so whatever you are adding it will be uh, gone from here like this add and remove so from one side you are entering from one side you are going out that's a queue uh, data structure okay so basically it's like you know if you are standing in a queue the first person in the queue will get the ticket so that's that's what the principle over here now when we talk about the fourth one it is called linked list data structures okay so what do you mean by uh, data i mean linked list see here what happens no data elements are connected through a series of nodes and each node contains the data items and address to the next node right so it's not clear okay so let's do one thing i will put like this say one and then i'm going to put here next then i will put two and next and then i have three and next okay so what will i do here is the head it is linked it will go here or maybe i'll use a different color here okay then i'll go here then maybe i'll go here then i'll go here and here i'm going to get the null value so these are the linked list data structures okay so now uh, let's come back and what we'll do is i'll write this quickly that how uh, i mean what are the four ways we can arrange them so if i go here it is like this okay so this is your array data structure this is your stack ds this is your queue ds and this is called linked list data structures right so in the link in the linear data structure these are the four uh, ways you can arrange the data now when we talk about non linear so from the name itself you will understand ki they are in a non linear form like they'll be not in the sequence form right so it can be any sequence now right so instead they are arranged in a which manner in a hierarchical manner okay so hierarchical means top to down or bottom to top hierarchy is like something like this that he is the ceo and then the next people and then you have the team of managers and here and then in this also this is a hierarchical manner which we are talking about okay so now what we will do is we will be learning the two most important things i mean in this is what is basically graph and tree so i'll just quickly uh, put it across for you see so this one is your graph ds and this one is your tree ds okay so that's how the non linear data structures are uh, done now let me talk about the graph data structures for you okay so here i go when i talk about graph ds okay so what do you mean by a graph here each node is called the vertex okay and it is connected to the other vertexes using the edges so what do you mean by that so suppose if i talk about i will say here maybe like this okay so this is a b c d and e so what is happening see this is vertex 1 vertex 2 vertex 3 vertex 4 vertex 5 so these are all connected it can be any way see like this like this or maybe like this or maybe like this it can be any way okay so this representation is a graph uh, data structure okay now what happens with this is you know in this also we have different types of uh, graph data structures like uh, minimum tree and then you know uh, sorry uh, spanning tree and minimum spanning tree and then we have adjacency uh, matrix adjacency list so all these we'll discuss in the coming uh, videos okay now when i talk about you know say trees data structure okay so now similar to a graph a tree is also a collection of vertices and edges 
but in the tree there can only be one edge between two vertices so its structure will be somewhat like this you know two then you've named like three and then it is like four and five so it's in the tree form like in the branch we have you know uh, trees and uh, that way in a tree we have branches and leaves and so on so it's like that plus there are many uh, ways of doing it like binary tree we have you know binary search tree and many other ideas so that we'll uh, discuss as and when we progress now let's learn about the difference between the two right that is between the linear and non linear okay so what is the first thing which we will talk about the first thing is they are the data is arranged arranged in a sequential manner okay so what we will write over here it is in a non sequential manner non sequential or you can write here say uh, hierarchical here what we will say all the items which we talk about right all the items are present in a single layer that's what we are trying to say here but here what happens here we have different layers so you can say this is the second difference they are arranged layer wise okay then we talk about the third one it can be traversed on a single run why single run see okay i'll write it like this <clears throat> it can be traveled on a single run okay but here what will happen you will require multiple runs right that's what we are trying to say here okay then the fourth one it can be traversed on a single run that is if we start from the first element we can traverse all the elements sequentially in a single pass right but since the other one the non uh, hierarchical requires i mean the non linear requires multiple runs that means if we start from the first element it might not be possible to traverse all the elements in a single pass so you can say all elements are visited in a single pass here it may or may not visit all elements in a single path okay all right now the fifth one the is i will say time complexity okay so here what happens the time complexity increases with the data size okay but here the time complexity remains the same time complexity it is the same so these are the few uh, you know uh, what you can say is like uh, differences between the two and obviously the examples we have given is arrays stack and queue and here the examples will be tree and graph okay so thank you so much i hope you've liked this and we will be discussing the more of data structures in the coming up classes so stay tuned bye